Today we're talking about how to export your music from Pro Tools. So, if you guys have ever wondered how to do this, and if you guys are kind of questioning what parameters to use when you do it, then this is the tutorial for you. So stick around after this introduction to find out all the things you need to know. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about how to export your music from Pro Tools. So when you're exporting music from Pro Tools, there are some things that you have to think about and we're going to go over all of that within this tutorial. And before we get to that, I do want to mention I have a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Pro Tools training playlist. So this playlist contains videos ranging from beginner to advanced level. And if you guys want to get better at using Pro Tools, definitely check out that playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's get into this video and talk about how to export your music from Pro Tools. All right, so the first thing we need to do in Pro Tools when it comes to exporting is we need to pick our start and end points. Pro Tools needs to know when the song starts and it needs to know when the song ends. And that is simply done by highlighting. So as you can see, I have this area highlighted in white. This is what I have selected for my start point over here and then my end point over here. And this is done by highlighting in the timeline. So if I was to click up here in the timeline and drag to the left, you'll see that I'm now highlighting the area that I want to export. So it is as simple as that. So once you have your area highlighted, you wanna go up to the file section here in the top left and click that. Now, you don't wanna go down to export, okay? Export is pretty useless. You actually wanna go down to bounce mix. Let's open up the bounce mix window. Okay, so. The Bounce Mix window here is actually newer to Pro Tools. This came out, I think, a couple versions ago. So the first thing you need to do is you need to give your file a name. So I'll just call this song one for an example here. And likely you're going to be exporting a WAV file. So you're going to want to leave this on WAV. And if WAV isn't selected, select it here. Now, if you want an MP3, don't select it here because you can actually add an MP3 by clicking this right here. So now you're going to get a WAV and MP3. You're always going to want a WAV file because that's the uncompressed quality. So you definitely want to at least have a WAV file in your collection. Okay. So. Next, this is your output here. So whatever you have your master output set to here, this is what you want to have selected. So I have my physical output set to monitor one and two. Likely yours is gonna be monitor one and two also, all right? And now for your audio here, that we selected wave, we have PCM uncompressed and we have add MP3 selected. You're gonna want interleaved because otherwise if you select uh, mono summed or multiple mono per se. Multiple mono is going to give you left and right files separately, which is not going to be all that beneficial if you're going to be trying to listen to your music. So do interleaved. And then for your bit depth, this depends. So music's changing and I'm starting to see it more now with what distributors want from you. If you want to be safe, you can still do 16 bit and you could do 44.1. That's going to be your Red Book audio there. That will be safe. But again, I would say if you are going to be distributing this through like DistroKid, CD Baby, whoever, go on their website and see what they will accept your bit depth and sampling rate up to. And then basically give it to them at the highest that you can, but don't go above what your session's at. Okay. So if you recorded your session at 44.1, don't bounce down to 48. You don't want to go up, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? So again, just to recap, check with your distributor for how to set this here. But if you're unsure, 44.1 and 16-bit will be safe, okay? And this here, pad to frame boundary, I just leave this unchecked, so don't worry about that. 
And then for location here, you have an option to import after bounce, which is good if you're gonna master it within the same session. So maybe you wanna work with just the individual file as opposed to the full mix. You have that option here. And then you have an option here for your file destination. If you hit choose here, then you can select where you wanna save it to, okay? And then this button here gives you the option to either do an offline bounce or online bounce. So if you are mixing with any outboard gear, you must do a online bounce. You would not wanna check this here. Uh, if you are doing all your mixing with inside of Pro Tools here, using all plugins, then you could do the offline bounce here. That's perfectly fine. You're not gonna lose any quality whatsoever, and it's going to bounce down a lot faster, okay? So I recommend leaving that checked under that scenario. After this is all set up here, you simply just hit the bounce button here, and it's gonna export your file, and you're done. That's all there is to exporting your music within Pro Tools. So if you want to export individual tracks or stems or whatever, all you need to do is basically highlight up your area of that particular stem or track and then just solo what you want to export, okay? It's that simple, all right? So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know how many videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.